Hello there, how are you doing? I'm tired, I'm jet lagged, I'm in London right now. Um, I'm here for summer in the city, which should be really fun. And I just kind of felt like talking, so that's what we're going to do. I know, generally we don't talk, we just do whale noises for hours, and that does have its merits. But this evening, or morning, or general time, where you exist within space and time, we're going just to talk. I mean, mainly I'm going to talk. About what? Well, that's a fantastic question. This is one of those videos where the title hasn't been decided yet. We're going to decide that as this video progresses. But enough procrastinating, let's get right into it, shall we? I feel like I wanted to make a video about things that have happened recently. But now it's August and so much has happened that I feel like after about a week or two, if it's if it's that far back in time, then it like it's kind of like um amber bits of amber from like Jurassic Park, at this, these moments captured in time that you can revisit, you can look at, but you can't experience it again. And talking about them is kind of just like going to a museum and looking at it and explaining it, even though you can't explain it like the person did in the moment when they made it or when they experienced it. You kind of are reinterpreting it. So that's where I feel I am at the moment. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm like super tired and I get the fear sometimes that I'm not doing enough. But there's all these moments where there's nothing, where it's just, and you sit, and I hate those moments. I don't, I shouldn't say hate, ugh. I don't hate, I don't hate anything. I just feel worried during those moments because I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm failing, like I should be doing something, like I should be making something or creating something or just being, that I'm not falling into an abyss of forgetfulness. Every time that I'm sitting, contemplating, or that I'm sleeping, that's time that could be used better, maybe? But not better. I mean, sleeping's good, it's good for you, but it could be used productively. I could be making something. I could be changing something, creating something, doing anything, really. I feel like we make things, and we try and hope that people interpret them the way that we wanted to, but a lot of times, that doesn't happen. A lot of times people take it at face value and don't really experience it the way they should. And I think that's always a huge bummer because you're missing out. And the thing that infuriates me the most isn't that people don't understand it or that they maybe don't like it. It's just that they didn't try. They didn't give it a chance. It was an immediate dismissal. And I think that is harmful, mainly for the person that has to experience that. That is like, oh, I don't like it, dismissed done. Because you're not getting the full picture. You're not getting an experience that you could take with you, that you could learn from. And maybe you still won't like it, but at least it's something that you have. It's a little bit that can help form you. I just like to experience things, everything, within reason. Hello there, now we're laying down and my arms are kind of making a heart <laughs> around my face. Uh, but whatever. Also, goodness gracious, I'm wearing this space shirt again. I, I really, I own so many more shirts. This is one of these things where it just kind of happens and I'm always wearing the same shirt. That's, ugh, oh, this is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed, I'm going to roll around. You should never, and I said this before, you should never limit what you do or what you know. It shouldn't be so strict. I just, I just wanna know everything about everything because then it lets you make a, a more informed decision about things that you're going to have to experience in life. And I don't, I'm not trying to allude to anything in particular, it's more of just a general kind of statement. I don't know a lot of things, but what I do know is that I want to know more. <laughs> How many times can I say no in a sentence? Well, I could probably say it numerous times because there's different versions of no. I don't know, I just felt like talking, and this seemed like the person to talk to, so here we are. And I don't know, I'm not, this is like, I feel like I'm very somber, uh, but I'm just tired. And I'm excited about tomorrow, I'm gonna meet some money people. Uh, thanks for listening to me talk. It's very one-sided conversations, but it's helpful, so thank you. And remember, it's not goodbye. Oh no, it's never goodbye. It's...